Nancy, how was the fan excitement for this fight coming up against Julio Chavez and Canelo? Uh, the fan excitement is amazing. I haven't seen something like this at this level since Canelo Mayweather. That this fight, the fans are in for a, for a treat. I mean, it's a fight where it's a Mexican versus a Mexican. So you get the Mexican American fan base with the Mexicans. Who are they going to side with? Because you already know that Mexican Americans they, they tend to side with Canelo, and then the hardcore Mexicans, you know, unfortunately, they kind of hate on Canelo, right? Yeah. So then they're going for Chavez Jr. So you're gonna you're gonna see like a crazy rivalry between Mexicans and Mexican Americans. I think in this fight, regardless, it's a fight that the fans are gonna enjoy. I think I think I personally think it'll go 12 rounds. And you've been in both training camps. Have you seen their training camps? How they're going? They're going good. Everything, no problems, no injuries, anything like that. That would hamper them in the fight. I haven't seen their training camps for this fight. I don't even know if they started up, but I've seen them in other training camps. And um, Canelo, well, obviously we know he's 100% dedicated, and we already know he trains really good um, with his camp. Now with Chavez Jr., he's changed his trainer again to Nacho Bernstein, yes. who is uh, he's a Hall of Fame trainer. I mean, he's going to be inducted into Hall of Fame April 29th here in California. Um, I think with the discipline that Nacho Bernstein brings, Chavez is dad senior who's a legend um, in the corner as well is, is something that's gonna give Chavez Jr. that that pressure but good pressure that good pressure to, to fight his hardest I think this is gonna be the fight the toughest fight for him and I think he can he can pull it off Canelo can pull it off I personally think this can imagine it as a trilogy where Chavez Jr. like barely wins let's just say and then Canelo wins the other two because, I don't know, just because, <laughs> just because but I feel like this is a fight that the fans are going to love regardless. Canelo at 100% is a great fighter. Chavez Jr., I think we're going to see him at 100% because we have seen him slimmer. I've personally seen him for like the last six months slim. He doesn't have a belly. He's, he's toned good. So I think he's not going to have to worry so much about making the weight. He's going to be focused on his, his strategy for the fight. And is this the fight that's going to make yeah. boxing fans purchase the pay-per-views? Is this the fight that's going to turn boxing around and get those pay-per-view numbers really big like they used to be with Mayweather? I think it'll be. I think it'll definitely go over a million pay-per-view buys. buys. It, you know why? The tickets are so expensive. I mean, they didn't start expensive, but you know the the scalpers start buying. Yeah. So. What, what choice does the regular fan base have at that point? But to have a party at their house. Pay-per-view numbers are going to be amazing. Just, and are you going to be there ringside for the fight? I am. I will be there. I will be at the fa Box Fan Expo in the morning. I uh, invite oh, the everybody. Boxing Expo. I'll be at the Box Fan Expo. Oh, the WBC is going to have a booth there with Ring, Ring uh, Magazine. We're going to have fighters there giving autographs. We're going to have a lot of fun stuff there. And from there, um, rush to the fight. And is it true that you guys are making a special bow for the winner of this title? We are, and a, bow? yeah, we are. And what a lot of people, this is not a WBC sanctioned fight. The fighters, uh, the WBC is not taking anything from the purses. It's a gift from the WBC to commemorate Cinco de Mayo and this is de September. It's a new thing. Um, Okay, and it's going to be first for Canelo Chavez, so the first one's going to take that. It's up by Wicholes. They already chose the belt. I don't know if you guys saw, there was a three choices. Yeah. And um, I believe the colorful one was the one that was chosen, and in four weeks we will be presenting that. And tell fans why they should buy the pay-per-view, why they should come and see this fight in Vegas. Tell them in your point of view. Because, because Nancy's going to be a ring girl. That's why y'all gotta tune in and watch know. it. She's gonna be you uh, never holding know up the what I will look like in two months. So Nancy's gonna be, be the ring girl. No, no, yeah. no, no. All right, so y'all look at that beautiful body. Yeah. She's gonna be the ring girl. Um, I forgot what he asked now. Why, 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 why should fans buy this fight? Okay. Because Jesse Barry's gonna be a commentator on HBO on HBO. Are you right? Ooh, you gotta get that's a promoter, awesome. girl. Come on, 
Well, first of all, yeah, because Jess is going to be a commentator on HBO yeah. Latino. Yeah. With no, no, no. HBO uh, pay per view in the Spanish portion. That's awesome. You saw that because of that, but also because you guys don't even know what the undercard is yet. Wait till you guys hear the undercard. Yes. You can, it's a can't miss fight. Every single fight on that card is going to be amazing. So just stay tuned for the next couple of weeks. Fights are going to start getting announced. All right. Thank you. Okay. Guys.